Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to be talking about the sixth lesson of the Rust book that is basically covering the topic of array. So in the previous video, I have shown you the operators, the strings and multiple other uh, topics also. But in this video, I'm going to be covering the arrays and uh, all the exercises relevant to it. So let's go to the screen. So as you can see here that I'm present in the XLR draw chart. So here I will discuss first of all the few concepts that what is array and what is the function of it and how you can uh, what is the syntax of it right so let's go to this uh, and write the data mm, right like this array so array it's a kind of variable of a variable that will store multiple values right so yeah this is all about array so it's a kind of variable in which you will be able to store multiple values in it so there are two ways to define an array in rust right so there are two ways to define an array in rust the first way is to like uh, what you can see here is I will just be uh, showing an example but I will go through the exercise later on in the Visual Studio Code but let's bear with me let array 1 this is the first way and now let's define the uh, data type of it so the data type of this array is going to be let's say i32 or u32 all right so I will keep this uh, u32 in order to uh, take the positive numbers also uh, positive numbers only and then the length of it so the length of this could be four five two three any kind of number right so what kind of length that you want for an array i will keep this four so after that there will be values given to it so now uh, this is the first way so how we can give the values so basically what you need to do is to just write like uh, what you can say here eight all right so this is the value all right and then this is the uh, four uh, length of it so yeah this is the eight is the default value and length of this is four so let's say if you want to print array one four times without giving any kind of value then it will print the eight in all of these four arrays right so you are printing array one four times because it has length of four then it will give the eight number eighth number to all of these four very uh, arrays because uh, none of the array has uh, has any kind of values so it is the default value that will be given to it so yeah this is the first uh, way to define an array now the second way is simpler than this because you have to not define any kind of default value instead you just have to uh, define all the values in a fixed way so let's say uh, u32 and then 4 and then these are the values right so 1 2 3 4 so there is not any kind of fixed uh, or default value instead all of the four numbers are given to it and this belongs to array 2 so I hope you understood right so yeah this is basically the data type this is the length of it and then this is the values these are the values based on the length and here in the array one this is the data type this is the length of the values and this is the default value all right not multiple values but the default value although you can assign multiple values but i will be showing you later on and this is the length of it so i hope you understood now let's take a look at this uh, just copy this let's see right let's copy this and go to this visual studio code in the previous video this was the lesson of the operators but now what i'm going to do is to create another directory but not going to a traditional way instead i will be executing it in the cargo init way cargo init or you can also write cargo new so no worry about it right so cargo new is also a way to declare uh, like create a folder uh, create a directory and inside this the um, rust operations can be performed so cargo new and then the sixth way is to write like sixth array and this is the folder name and then name of the package is going to be array all right so let's go to the main.rs file and here if i show you above 
you will see here that this is all about what you can see here I hope it will work for now so yeah this is what you need to uh, keep in mind this is all the lessons that I will be printing here just for your uh, learning purpose now let's start from the examples so yeah uh, the first thing is to like let's say array one all right sorry array one and then it's uh, let's define the 32 and length of this is four and then what you need to do is to define the default one that is eight and then the length of it so now what i need to do i need to write the uh, let's say array one array one is equal to zero and that array one is equal to z uh, array one zero is equal to with zero index that means the first index right so the array is starting from zero you need to keep this in mind right it is not starting from one instead it is starting from zero so the array one that is the first index of it will be uh, let's say one all right so that is the length one length two length three and length four there are four uh, arrays that you can write it right so array one with index one is equal to two and array one with index two is going to be three so now i have missed i'm not going to write like uh, array uh, one with index three is equal to four because i'm going to show you that let's say if i didn't per, per, uh, assign the value to it then how it will behave so right so let's say first first uh, like this array one array one zero and then let's copy this like that. all right one two three all right so here second third all right and fourth and now let's print the values because the uh, fourth value is not defined here as you can see here only array one is limited to a second index it is not uh, writing the i have not written the value of third index so what it will give to me so go inside this uh, sixth array very uh, folder and then cargo run mute so you need to keep this in mind in order to make this array run you need to mute it you need to make it mutable why because one array is changing multiple times you can see here this array one is changing although the default value was eight but now it has given one value the second value the third value so it means the array variable is changing multiple times so you need to make it mutable right so now you can see here one that is one two second uh, is having two third is having three but fourth is having eighth why because if the value is not defined so it is giving the default value to it so yeah that's the reason of it that how it is useful let's say if you have forgotten to mention any kind of value so after that let's take a look this is the first way right the first way to define an array right first way to define an array now the second way to define an array is going to be like this so let's uh, remove uh, like say uh, comment this and now here in the second way you won't be able to like uh, um, define any kind of default value right so you will just write array array 2 and then the uh, data type plus the length length so let's say u and the, the u32 this is the unsigned integer with 32 bits and then four uh, four is the length of it and now let's define each of the values in it one one two two three three four four all right so yeah this is the th method in which you will be able to define all the values instead of skipping one value in it just like we have skipped one value and this has printed the default one so you won't be able to do this here so now 
and it will also not be able to uh, it will also not required to be mutable because here you can see here I wrote the mutable uh, uh, syntax because you uh, you will not be uh, like writing the mutable because these are all the values that are pre assigned to it and you won't be able to like uh, mm, there is no requirement to change it after it right so yeah until you want to update it but uh, for now there is no need for uh, changing it so let's write like this one like uh, print this uh, like this and then uh, comment it and now let's say array one I will just like this right array two and now this is fine right so this time if I write cargo run one one two two three three four four but here it is not accepting any kind of default value if I remove this 4 4 then what you will see here you will see an error as you can see here this is giving me error that array expected an array with a fixed size of four elements so it is expecting four elements but it has received three elements only all right so found one with three elements so it has found three elements but what you need to do consider specifying the actual array length so whether uh, it is recommending us that you need to uh, specify either three here all right uh, specifying the actual array length whether you need to specify the array length 3 or whether you need to uh, change this from 3 to 4 uh, like elements right because there are 3 elements but you need 4 elements in it but if you are keeping this 4 elements uh, but you are if you are keeping this uh, here the 3 elements then you need to change this to 3 alright so yeah this is the thing that it is recommending me so let's say if I make, uh, make it like 3 then this time it will still give me an error because I uh, I wrote this thing as you can see here index out of bounds the length is 3 but the index is 3 as you can see here 0 1 2 or so there are three elements that are already present so there are uh, this out of bound so there is no requirement of it all right so this is what it is saying so if I clear this now you can see here first second third this is how you can make it right so yeah I hope you understood from this video that what is an array and what are the kinds uh, types of array through which you can define it. Yeah, so this is all for this video. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about the slices that how you can take a specific value from the array and print it, right? So it is also going to be simple, but uh, I don't want to make this video too long. So I hope you like this video. So if you liked it, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, then ask those questions in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer all of them. So till then, goodbye.